Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, I told you guys I was on a little adventure, and this is where I'm at right now. I'm over here in the city of Clarksville, and I'm actually on a mission today. I'll tell y'all about that here in a minute. But I am right here. I seen this and decided to pull off the road and check it out and bring you guys along with me. Check out this old bridge. That is awesome. Got the little river flowing right there. I love finding little hidden nuggets like this. Uh, so we're going to go on a little uh, walkabout, guys, and check it out. I don't know how far it goes or anything like that, but we're going to take a look at it. This is an old, old bridge. And it's like right in the middle of town. It's just crazy. Check this out. Y'all can pa pause right now and read this. Got a nice little pavement trail here. We'll go check it out. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Also, go Ridge Life. So yeah, I decided I seen this and I decided you know what Let me uh Go check it out How's it going? So the mission that I'm on guys is looking for a new truck and I have been going from town to town to different dealerships and all of that and looking. Um, my truck is not that old as far as mileage and stuff goes. It's only got about 50,000 miles on it. And I believe the transmission is going out on my truck. And uh, that's not good for only 50,000 miles. And the more research I do and stuff, it seems that there's it's a common problem. And the torque converter in those transmissions are not good. And as they say, if you make it to 100,000 miles with it, you better replace it. Well, the problem is, is I have Uber and that big 20-foot heavy-duty trailer that I'm towing all the time. And uh, I don't think that 1500 is going to do the trick. I used to have an F-250 diesel and uh I really wish I still had it right now because that's more around the size of truck that I actually need. Take a break real quick. Wildlife facts and tracks. We got the white toe deer, the raccoon, the squirrel, the eastern cottontail, the gray fox, and the bobcat. Trail also goes that direction. So anyways, uh, I'm out looking at bigger trucks. Um, I have the Jeep that I drive quite a bit now um, to do my little daily running around and stuff because diesel is very expensive. So I have to weigh that into the whole factor of everything. And boy, let me tell you, they are proud of the bigger trucks nowadays. But I feel like if I keep the Chevy 1500 and with working it the way that I do and towing everything, I'm going to end up destroying it and it's not going to be worth nothing. So I need to go ahead and trade it in while the trade-in value is still decent in it before I get way too many miles on it. And, uh, and it ain't worth nothing. And then I'm just stuck with a broke down truck uh, that serves me absolutely no purpose. And typically when I buy vehicles, I buy them around this time of year because all the new stuff is coming out and stuff and they're trying to push their older inventory. I'm not trying to go get a brand new truck. I'm trying to get something that has low miles and uh, that's been took care of and stuff like that. Well, whenever you're doing that, it becomes quite 
the search, I would say. And also, on top of it, there's not a lot of inventory right now for uh, big trucks. Uh, really, since the uh, pandemic days, uh, the inventory on trucks skyro uh, the inventory went down and the prices skyrocketed. And it's not really a whole lot better right now. And I also don't want my payment to change and all of that. So there's a lot of factors in play with that. I really like this trail, guys. Now we got a big old open field beside me. It's crazy this is right in the middle of the city. This is actually a bike trail, it looks like. I got the little bike lane right over there. It's like we got a little seating area over here. So yeah, that's what I've been working on behind the scenes because my truck's getting worse and worse. And I'm trying to get ahead of it before I end up uh, having a big issue. And as much as I travel and with my kids being in grand kids and grandkids being in Florida, I make a lot of trips across the country. And Florida is about 16 to 18 hours away from me depending on where I go in Florida. And uh, that's a long haul to have a truck that you can't depend on. And the vibration started a little while ago. We've talked about it on here and it is increasingly getting worse and worse. And it's not cheap to fix. So I'm just weighing my options right now. There's no set plan if the right deal comes. And uh, it makes financial sense and all of that and it has served my needs uh, then I'll pull the trigger and do it um, if not then I'll just keep looking and uh, evaluate some other options so so that's what I'm on I'm on a I'm on a mission I'm on a mission and I hate looking at stuff online I mean you can look at some stuff online with truck shopping but uh it's a, uh, you can't get a feel for it, you know? And people are really good at taking pictures. And uh, then you show up and then it doesn't look nowhere near huh, what you thought it was gonna be. So I prefer to just kind of go from place to place and see what kind of inventory they got and uh, check it out and uh, drive it, get a feel for it. Like I just drove one not too long ago decent looking truck really went the color that I like um, it's honestly the color I don't like and uh, it ran good and everything else but when you got in it you could tell that somebody smoked in there and it was a uh, rough oh we got a puppy <laughs> so uh, that ain't gonna happen because once you get that smell in there it's it's hard to get it out and as soon as I opened up the door I could I could smell it so I went ahead and passed on that one, and that one really wasn't that bad of a deal, honestly. But check this out. A little sign they made. Soggy bottom. Out of reflectors, and it looks like a bicycle chain. That's pretty cool. Looks like this might be a little bit of a swampy area. This is a cool little find in the city over here in Clarksville. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? So yeah, that's a little update on what I got going on right now. There's a whole lot of other moving parts behind the scenes of some other stuff going on. But uh, that's my main mission uh, right now is to try to get uh, this situated because I do have a couple of trips coming up here in the new year that I'm wanting to make. And right now, I'm not comfortable taking my truck anywhere too far away from home because I don't know if it's going to break down or not. So, yeah, I'm dealing with that. It looks like this just is just a road. I see buildings and stuff right there, so we're not going to walk any further than that. But it's a beautiful day, guys. And I've been in the truck now for hours. Uh, driving and stopping and test driving and looking and all of that other stuff uh, I started this process a little while ago 
and uh, about a week ago I would say and I've drove a lot I've looked at a lot but uh yeah ain't quite got a uh, ain't found what I'm looking for yet uh, the good thing about it is is I don't have to be in too big of a hurry because I do have uh, the Jeep to depend on and if I end up having to fix it I end up having to fix it it ain't that big of a deal but we'll see apparently this is a popular little trail that people like to walk I like it if you're in town this is a an oasis for this kind of stuff look at that there you go guys taking y'all on a little adventure but i hope everybody is having a good day i believe it is thursday we are getting close to the weekend is today thursday yeah today is thursday we are getting closer to the weekend uh, i hope y'all's week has been amazing hopefully y'all took some steps closer to your goals this week and uh and you did something nice for somebody but i love every single one of y'all I will uh, keep y'all informed on the hunt. Uh, if y'all know any good places in my area, uh, leave it in the comments. It will be greatly appreciated because, uh, boy, it's like a big old Easter egg hunt. But uh, that and also, man, I used to be a 100% Ford guy, 100%. Nowadays, they're all computers, and they're all built about the same. So, uh, it's definitely opened up uh, the options a little bit for me, I would say. But, I will tell you that the Chevy that I'm driving, I've only had one other Chevy in my life. And the fact that it's only got 50-something thousand miles on it, and I'm dealing with this, is uh, not a good look. Not a good look, Chevy. Not a good look. But, at the same time... Fords cost so much money right now. I don't know. I'm definitely going to have to find that deal of the day. So wish me luck in the comments. Uh, I'm out here hunting and see, seeing what's going on. Because I need to get this addressed one, one way or another. Whether it's put the Chevy in the shop and it ain't cheap to get uh, those transmissions fixed, let me tell you. Or go ahead and get a bigger truck that can handle the lifestyle that I live now. Um, the whole reason I went to a smaller truck, because if y'all remember, my OGs, if y'all remember, I used to have a beautiful, beautiful F-250 that was lifted. Would have been perfect for this lifestyle, but with me moving to the city in Dallas, uh, I had to get rid of it. And uh, man, I wish I still had it. Hindsight's 2020, right guys? Hindsight's 2020. All right guys, I'm gonna get off here and uh, keep on hunting. I love every single one of y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Come on.